Hi everyone, we're testing the Spear Gold Dot in 9mm Plus P 124 grain jacketed hollow point using the SIM test media, quite comparable to ballistic gel, in fact it's calibrated, plus four layers of denim. Test gun is a Glock 19. I guess you could say this is chapter three with the 9mm Plus P 124 grain Gold Dot. This was one of the first tests I posted uh, using wet pack and those water jugs stuffing with wet newspaper. That was back in June of 2009, and then using wet pack again, but with denim in November of 2010. So I'm really anxious to see uh, what type of results we get in this media, the SIM test with denim, compared to those earlier tests. This is also uh, one of my primary carry loads. I say primary, I'll use this in the warmer months, and then move over to the 147 grain Federal HST in the colder months. In fact, uh, as of this date, April what 16th, 2011, I still haven't moved back to this. I'm still carrying the heavier load. Uh, in any event, if you haven't heard of the Gold Dot, if you haven't heard of the 9mm Gold Dot, you are probably uh, new to firearms or just now starting to shop around for a uh, defensive load. This is one of the most popular loads in 9mm. In fact, it is the adopted load of the New York City Police Department, so you're looking at over 40,000 officers carrying this load, and I believe that is an Glock 19, which will be the test gun we're using tonight. It is a warm load, but I find it very controllable. Advertised muzzle velocity of 1,220 feet per second. I'm getting 1,000, see what was that, 1,204 out of my last five shot average. That's varied on me from 1210, I believe, down to 12.4, some, somewhere in that range. And that's out of a four inch barrel, by the way. This is a bonded bullet. A couple of um, advantages or benefits for that. One, it is for better barrier penetration. That's why law enforcement likes this load. But it also uh, is going to prevent jacket separation. I've yet to see a gold dot in any testing even begin to shed its jacket. So that uh, is not expected tonight. What I am anxious to see is what type of penetration we get in this media, which is. Uh, essentially calibrated gel with the four layers of denim and the four layers of denim is used to simulate heavy clothing and that is an FBI standard I don't know what it is but I'm consistently shooting low and left with that particular G19 in every single test I think I'd learned my lesson by now in any event we are in the block let's dig it out Okay, as I slice this, I always have two tracks. As you're looking at it, this is the left and this is the right. I'm going to show you some segments of both. One thing we're seeing consistently in this uh, sim test, which I think is just spectacular, is uh, one of the denim is coming in two or three inches consistently with every test, sometimes deeper. But we're seeing these expansion cavities or stretch cavities here. So we know we had some expansion. And you can begin to see how, uh, as the bullet is spinning through the media, how those expanded petals are cutting into this. That's going to do the same thing in tissue, obviously. Let's drop down to this track because it actually uh, gives us more uh, to look at. Again, the point of entry here, you see the denim, but look at this cavity that we have and look how deeply this is cutting into this media. So we're uh, progressing down through here and we have a straight path. Okay, let me jump back up to this because this is where we have the uh, actual slug it did expand, get it as close as I can without uh, getting out of focus. Did expand, it looks like quite a bit. We'll dig that out and see what we have as far as uh, some metrics on the weight and the average expansion. And by the way, the penetration on that, the nose of the bullet, is at 13.25 inches. 124 grain bullet, we're coming in at 123.9. I thought we'd come in a little bit above that because there's a plug of denim. See that? They're on the nose of the bullet. It was right there when I turned it out of the uh, damage path. Removed it from the block. Let's see if I can get on the side of it. And you can see that it expanded uh, quite a bit on one side, but was really compressed on the other. There's the high end on the expansion, 0 .650, but the average is 0 .614. So tonight we had in the sim test 13 and a quarter inches penetration, 0.61 average expansion, 
in my wet pack test two years ago, 2009, 13 and a half inches in 0.68. With wet pack and denim in 2010, we had 18 and a half inches in 0.56. Three good results from this cartridge, three tests, and that is a reason why it is one of my preferred carry loads. Thanks for watching.